It's April with Hair 101 and I am very excited and very sad and I'm like full of all kinds of emotions today because this is the last video you will see from this salon. Silence, moment of silence. I know, okay, it's over. Now we can be happy because this is Ellie from Ellie and Jared. And you guys have already seen her in my Teach Me How to Cut It video. Teach me how to cut it. Hey. Teach me how to cut it. Teach me, teach me how to cut it. Hey. Everybody cut it. Air, everybody cut it. Everybody cut it. So you guys already know she is awesome. And she wants to kind of get away from so much bleach in her hair, right? Is that yeah. what you were saying? Yeah. So kind of what are you thinking with your color? So I have bleached my hair for years and years and then after I had my baby I've had some major postpartum going on so I thought I want to kind of go back to my natural hair color and not use so much bleach onto my hair and that way if it grows out I don't have, it's not so stripey. So I was thinking of just going back to my natural color. I have about, I don't know. Eight? <laughs> it's a level eight, yeah. I would say. My natural yeah. hair color is about a level eight, and so me and April here are gonna whip up our magic and get some formula going on to slap on my head. So I think that the best thing to use for her will be this um, Scruples, the the blazing low lights, but I think they called it shadow low lights now, like they've changed the name a little bit. But I have the old book, so we're gonna say blazing low lights. If you see shadow low lights, it's the same thing, just use it. Um, I love the cool pecan, but they give you two different colors. It's like, you want to zoom in? One of them with heat and one without. So when you process this color with heat, it deposits it a little bit deeper. And when you do it without heat, it's a little bit lighter. So keeping that in mind, the one that's closer to her natural is the one that says with heat. So I think that I'm going to just put a teeny, teeny little bit of this six um, natural in, or not even this one. I don't even have the swatch for the, the six because it's a natural ash six that's a new one to their line that they didn't have in the natural ash, ash base. So it won't be as red as that swatch. But I think I'm going to mix the eight and the six together just that's for the root great. formula and yeah. then do the eight on the mid shaft and then leave her ends blonde because here's what I'm thinking. It's pretty to do the ombre. You can always go darker mm -hmm. if you wanted to go all over natural, but these are, it's already bleached. Yeah. Nothing else bad is going to happen to it. The worst thing we could do is put the color on it and make it dark. And then if you go home and hate it and you're like, oh, I really want to be blonde again, then you have to bleach it again. That's way worse than just leaving it blonde. So this will be good for you to have like the, the darker medium and then the light because then you can just let it keep growing. Yeah. Is that what you think? Yep, I think that's great. Sound good? Smooth transition. Okay, so we're gonna mix for the, I'm gonna do two different um, formulas. I'm gonna do a six natural ash with this eight natural ash. And I'm probably going to do a half an ounce of the six to an ounce of the eight. Um, is mm -hmm, That might be a little too dark actually. So we're gonna do a fourth of an ounce of the six any into an every ounce of the eight any. So, um, Yes, and then whatever that is, that's one and a fourth. I'll probably just mix up that with the 10 volume developer. You use the clear developer with this color line, like a liquid. And I just use the generic because I have never seen any negative results from using generic brands of developer. Have you? No, nope, I haven't. So yeah, you, so there are certain color lines where I do not change like the Shades EQ because that is less than 10% um, peroxide. So when it's something like that, like a really, really mild deposit only color, you should use the one that goes with it. But for this, we're just using the 10 volume. Um, and then for the mid shaft, just to feather it into her blonde just a little bit, I'm going to do just the eight um, NA. So I'm gonna mix those up really quick. Sound good? Sounds great. All right. I'm and excited. We'll see. It'll be pretty. And it's always good to write down your formula so that the next time when people come in, you know what you mixed up. So now to start this off, I'm wearing gloves and we're going to part her hair down the middle, even though that's not where she parts, but who cares? Because that's where I'm parting it. Because the middle is cool. Because the middle works better for what I'm doing. Okay. The middle's not cool, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It'd be cool for you because you're so cute. You could do anything, but okay. So I usually just kind of part it off into the T part just so I can keep my stuff organized. 
and I'm going to start on the top for this one. Now here's the thing. You want to make sure that you do a little bit less in the front and then you can go a little bit deeper on the roots through the, the rest of it because it's nice to have a little bit more lightning lightness around the front especially if you have layers because if you do it all the same and you have layers well the bangs will all be completely brown and so you want to make sure that you're doing a little bit less because there usually is some layering around the face and bangs or whatever and you have some mm -hmm. so it's nice to have that ombre effect oh I can't talk the ombre effect all the way along the perimeter too so I'm only going to do a little bit past her regrowth on the parts right in her around her face right here and then I'll start to go a little bit further down in the back so that's what we're gonna do and right now we're just applying to zone one which, which is the roots and um, I'm gonna just go down the part on both sides And then I usually like to just do the perimeter, but I'm just keeping it really, really sh um, shallow on the depth right here, just so that we can make sure we don't go too far down. But the section that I'm working on, I'm gonna go all the way around on the four sides. And that kind of helps keep it parted off too. So you can see where you're working. And then I'm gonna do I'm going to do sections this way for the front part, just so I make sure, like I said, not to go too far. And then you kind of want to just feather the color down a little bit to soften the line that she already has in there. switched over to horizontal parting so that I can keep track and you can kind of see where she already has her hair darker I don't have to worry about that as much I'm just taking out the highlights and kind of blending them down so this is a you go a lot by feel when you're doing something like this like look and see what's already there I want you're trying to achieve and just try to keep that in mind as you're going along
Okay, so this is just the mid shaft solution. It's the 8 um, NA. And I'm going to go through, let me just get the comb up here. I'm going to just go through and take bigger chunks like this, maybe a little bit smaller, like fourth inch sections. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to feather it between the two, like the transition line, just a little bit and feather it down. And you want to make sure that it's not like spotty because you don't want to have polka dots. And it's, that is one of the biggest things that happen with doing this is you can get like little spots down in the light blonde area. And it's probably going to happen. It's not something that you can guarantee it won't happen, but there are little ways to fix it. If, it, if there's one little spot that's bad when it's done, you can put a little teeny dot of bleach on it and it comes out really quick. But and that's the fun part about the ombres too is mm -hmm. it's just It doesn't have to be perfect, yeah. yeah. It's a new technique. It's Usually curling your hair takes that right away. <laughs> just kidding. You don't, you don't notice as many imperfections when you curl. I've noticed that. Yeah. But that's why ombres look so pretty curled. Don't you think they look yes. prettier curled? Yes. I don't know. But they look pretty straight too. When I had mine, I had mine for a while and I could do it both ways and feel like it was okay. So, and then this one by her face, I'm kind of leaving that out. I'm just barely gonna feather it down because we don't want to get that dark too much further down there. It's already looking pretty though, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, I, I am excited. Does it feel fresh? Yeah, it'll give you a whole new feel to your hair. And it gives so much dimension to have the coloring fading down like that. And when you curl, I don't know, it just looks really pretty to have the light laying on top of the dark. And that's why when I get a little bit further underneath, I usually do pull the dark down a little bit further so that some of the light's laying on top of it. So now that I'm down past the roll of her head, I'm taking this down and feathering it down all the way until there's just like at least half, sometimes a little bit more. And then I just kind of lay it over the head. Okay, so I put the formula on the, or the zone one and now we did zone two. I'm gonna just take my comb and just kind of softly comb through and feather it down just a little bit more. And I'm gonna avoid doing it too much on the front, so I'm gonna kind of take that out. But this will just help melt it down a little bit more and it will blend that root color into the, um, the mid shaft color too. But you don't want to comb it all the way down because you don't want to put the color into the blonde ends. You're just kind of color or combing just this middle section, if that makes sense. So, a little bit of combing here. And this is not, just not, shouldn't take you very much time. Just kind of 
it's going to be kind of ratted together from all the partying. Just kind of, no, that's how it's, that's how it's going to be. But it just melts down that line a little bit more and fades it down. So all that ratting will actually help the line not be so solid. So we're processing at room temperature for 20 minutes. Okay, that was fast. Go ahead. We are done processing, so we're just going to rinse it out and hope that it looks beautiful. So we are using the Satinware Redken Blow Dry Lotion. And we're going to start by putting it in the ends a little bit. And then I'll rub it through the rest. I don't like putting a ton of product in right at the roots uh -huh. like this. Start in the back. Okay, and then I always just spray a little bit of this Pillow Proof Blow Dry Primer through it too. Do you like that stuff? I love That's it. That's fairly new, isn't it? Yeah, and it's really cool. Another thing I've noticed if my hair is kind of like needs to be refreshed in the morning mm -hmm. after I slept on it, like second day hair, you spray this through it and it kind of like resets it. Oh. So. I want to get it. It helps like extend your style for another day, like if you did your hair curly. Yeah. Use it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. This is very subtle ombre. I we love just. It. Doesn't look so good. It does look good. You're beautiful. <laughs> I could have done anything, you would still be beautiful. But we just softened up that line, so now she can just let her natural hair grow in and not have to worry about bleaching it anymore. And she's good. So hopefully that helped you guys. Here's the back. Let's put it all back here so they can see. She just looks like she went outside and got some highlights in her ends, like natural, like a little girl playing in the sun. So it's, it's perfect. So, okay, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah, I keep telling you that this is the last video. It's not the last video ever. It's just the last video in the salon. So make sure you stay subscribed and keep sharing. Let everyone know. I'm going to be doing lots of videos every week still. Like every week you'll have a video. It just won't be as the same place. It won't be cuts and colors in this salon. It might be cuts and colors in my friend Debbie's salon or just theory videos. I'm going to do a couple tags. Those will be fun. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to see while I have six months of no salon. Let me know. Tell me in the comments below and give me a thumbs up because Ellie's here and she's awesome. Yes, thumbs up. Yes. Go to her channel and check out their vlogs. They're so funny. They're so cute. And their baby is adorable. I just want to eat him. He's so cute. So go over there, check out their videos, and tell them that I sent you so they know that they got some new subscribers from here. Yes. So, okay, see you guys. See ya, bye. We have mixed up this 5CR with 20 volume, and we're going to put it all over her head, and she's gonna be a redhead, vibrant bombshell. This is gonna be beautiful. To keep things organized, I always do the tea parting when I'm doing color, so I'm gonna do the tea parting again. Now with this, since I'm doing an all over color on this one, and I don't care about getting on the roots and stuff, I won't use the clips because I don't need to.